in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed You laid aside your majesty You gave up everything for me Suffered at the hands Of those you have created Do you know historically Human beings are experts at persecuting their saviors So if you are a savior Be ready for dishonor of all sorts in your lifetime Are we together look what jesus went through on the cross a 33 year old man hanging naked i hope you know he was hung naked all the coverings around him in movies is just for social reasons he was hung naked the lamb of god and yet you tell someone about it and he looks and says so what did i ask him to die for me was anything wrong with me he left heaven it's like being a professor and because you are a professor alone you throw away that title you start from kindergarten but this time around not alone until you become a professor again something you already wear you threw it because you were alone and you had to pick other people so that while you get the phd all of them also have that phd too that's what jesus did he had no need he had no lack but he was alone and he said no i'd rather go to hell for you than to remain in heaven without you and yet you preach that glorious gospel and people trivialize it it's painful to go through so much and then deliver what you brought and people look at it and trivialize it that's why spiritual things don't come on just everybody god discerns people who have honor and value hallelujah one time I was traveling to, I can't remember where, and I was seated in the, in the plane, and quite honestly, when I looked around, almost everybody around me was by far older than me. And then I was sleeping, you know this kind of sleep that you're nodding, you're like this, left, right, and center, and someone tapped me and said, you're a young man. What are you doing that gets you this tired to be sleeping? And then um, I said, no, no, this is an elderly man. I can't be foolish. We're taught to respect. But I said, oh, dear. Oh, dear. This man of God that stands here and smiles and preaches and prays. And whilst you are sleeping, he's awake with the wife praying for you crying for you there are many breakthroughs you can't remember praying for but they happened i tell you where they came from they came from the altar that drips with blood consistently this is not some church gimmick please listen to what i'm telling you many of the men and the women of god who stand upon this altar and bless you they have come on account of the sacrifice of relationships you must be a contributor you must acknowledge when i was in seminary my principal then in the seminary he was one of the people who truly gave me the foundation for godliness structural foundation he had lived in the u.s for many years and so when he came he brought in that culture and most of the the he concretized moral excellence excellence in general 
taught us so many things that were out of the curriculum for our training and a few years ago i was burdened in my heart and i told my dad he was my dad's classmate coincidentally and i said please can you help me let's go to that man and my dad drove me i went down to joss and when i went to him i was happy to see him now he was quite significantly elderly and i greeted him i got down on my knees and he said apostle i said don't call me apostle sir i am still your boy i'm still your son and he said you don't know how proud of you i am watching you and seeing what you're doing all over the world and i said sir i brought this gift to tell you god remains god but if you were not there i believe that a significant part of my life would not be the way it is and i told my father to escort me because i wanted you to know that i am grateful and if you will permit me there is something i want to be doing for you and for the rest of your life till your eyes see the king for as long as i'm alive you will not beg for bread again the price for your welfare you paid it in me and now that i am made please find rest because i'm alive that's what i did for him i went back feeling fulfilled i remember when god called me to ministry when i gathered my parents i watched my dad and my mom as i knelt down and they laid hands on me and spoke over my life it was a risk being the first son of the family and recently i had the opportunity to honor them one of my goals in my lifetime is that the world will stand and clap for my parents and the day that happened tears came out of my eyes i said finally one of my life's goal is done who can rejoice because you are alive who can call you a person of consolation please listen we have 10 minutes and we're done there are people who are called sons of consolations burden bearers there are people who a man of god a businessman every great man will tell you that's why when people are going passing on to glory some of them leave their wills not for their children sadly because the children are not sons of consolation they can find this supposed house help who had been there for 20 years 30 years there was a man in this city who became very sick years ago he was transported out of this city flown to india or someplace and there were rumors that he had died and some of the workers cleared the company they emptied everything the stationaries because rumor came that that man it looked like he had died yes he was paralyzed but he was still alive and there were only two of the people who were left when that man returned back on a wheelchair he entered into his own company he started crying physically and the doctors had to manage him so he would not die he said these were people i invested in i took some of them without interview i gave some of them double salary some of them came to me and they pleaded with me do you know the pain that many leaders many men of god go through all across this nation are you listening to what i'm telling you Your pastor stands here to invest Jesus, to invest the word, to invest life. A few times that we have the opportunity to speak, I am amazed that there are few times we really talk about ourselves. He's not talking about himself. Great things that the Lord is doing. The last time I came during your conference, when I was done, I had the joy to go to your structure, the building. I was amazed when I saw the master plan him and the woman of god i could see the passion in their heart while i was praying i said my god these people don't even think about themselves as i saw your worship team leading worship and jumping i said look these people some of them are family people only god knows the inconvenience that they had to go through to make sure they serve jesus hear me are you aware of the inconvenience that people go through to see that you grow spiritually not just the set man but even those who are connected to the ministry is it fair and is it honest that your ceo your man of god 
your woman of God, your boss in the office. Even during the recession, the company did not plunge down. You may not know the negotiations and the sacrifices, the diplomacy and everything that need to go on behind the scene or needed to go on behind the scene to keep that company standing. I dare you to write down the list of five or ten people who are most significant in your life and make up your mind that this week coming you are going to plant a seed of honor not money necessarily but honor to them i challenge you this is not a discussion i've had with your pastor i challenge you don't wait for a pastor's appreciation day or some special event you see when you come through for people during special events is natural there's nothing unusual about it that you come as a person and as a family and you meet the woman of god and say ma we always laugh we always jump around but i want you to know that you are a major contribution to the health of my life my family my spiritual life and i just want you to know that i am truly grateful you have a seed to back up what you're doing you see you can buy someone a car and yet it is not honor honor is not just in money or materials is the sincerity of your heart you see when you tell somebody thank you the assignment of thank you is to make sure that the person recognizes your depth he perceives the depth of your gratitude so it is your assignment to use all the skills you can employ to ensure you cannot stop giving thanks until the person who helped you has come to a point of comprehension if i give you one thousand naira and you say thank you i give you ten thousand naira you say thank you i give you um hundred thousand you say thank you i give you one million you say thank you you've not walked in wisdom it was not the same sacrifice that brought those levels of gifts so your assignment is to employ every skill within your power to ensure that i recognize how deeply grateful you are it may require kneeling down it may require multiple text messages it may require saying thank you many times the assignment is not to verbalize thanks the assignment is to study my mind to see that you must burn it in my mind that i am grateful and for such people let me tell you every time you effectively communicate thanks you create a debt that must be paid back to you it is true growing up we used to gather as a family to pray and we really hated it as children because when is my dad's turn and my mom to pray oh dear if my mom begins to pray here lord is it not the other day i was going out by the road was it left or right i can't remember she's praying when a car was about to come if it was not your message would we i mean and then she'll continue praying father thank you father thank you and we're there wondering and saying oh god please help my, my prayer to you is help my mother round up <laughs> and then my dad comes with his own he may not be as detailed but i tell you he can spend five minutes just saying thank you how childish we were we didn't recognize the things huh. for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise i magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise Your honor stands to God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And then the significant vessels. There are husbands here that need to truly honor their wives. You may not know the sacrifices that madame does every day with joy. You just return back and there's food. Don't say I paid her dowry. There are many women who need to appreciate their husbands. 
don't complain and say look at this man he's bought two cars I may be a young man but I've been a man all my life I assure you it's not easy being a man a lady gave birth this morning and when they sent me the photos and I saw the baby I said Lord Jesus thank you that I'm a man I don't I'm not sure that I have the grace just from the photo I'm, I'm not sure that I desire Bible says covet earnestly not not that one and yet sir with all due respect madam gave you two children three children four children five children it's not a big deal remember the danger of familiarity there are young people here now you are doing well and you leave your parents you see some of these are old folks still doing what they were doing while they were young mama is still carrying wood in the village and the man is here giving donations to churches i'm not against it but make sure that in all your lifting you do not forget those who helped you there are many people who do not take care of their families but sometimes you come to us as men of God and you bless us with millions whereas the family members are suffering. It ought not to be so. We are rounding up. We we'll apologize after the service but I need to bond this. Are we together now? Yes, sir. There are homes that the moment you see special plates, you know visitors are coming. They kill chicken and it's the head and the legs that the children eat. You see them standing somewhere around the kitchen as beggars in their own homes. While visitors that will betray you tomorrow, they come and they have the choice meals. I'm planting in you a seed of honor. Beware of neglecting what is close to you. The greatest gifts in your lives are the ones around you. Your father, your mother, anything you cannot pay for is God's gift to you. Don't allow your children hate you because of how you dishonor them. They go out of the house and they are treated as kings. They return back home and they are treated as rubbish. Same thing with parents. There are many young people. Parents remain in the office because their children, they, let me tell you, there is nobody who runs away from an atmosphere of honor. There are many men today who cannot go home. Christians, as soon as they enter their homes, dishonor speaks everywhere there are churches that dishonor their pastors dishonor their men of God I do not know any assembly where the man of God will not excel knowing that his people love him sincerely not something you qualified for apostle good heart thank you for being my pastor i love you that you can truly he knows how comforting it will be you can be serving in the church doing things but your heart is sincerely not there we are talking of a genuine connection let me therefore propose a few things to you as I attempt to round up, number one, you must make a covenant with yourself and your life and your destiny that for as long as you are planted in this assembly under God, make it a point of duty that you will stand and you will die with your pastor. Make it a point of duty that you will see to it that as he follows Christ, you are giving him the best of your support and everything. Extend that same mentality to your boss extend that same mentality to your children can i tell you this there are many young people today who hate their parents because the parents never believed in them they went elsewhere your father is not the person who gave birth to you your father is the person who believed in you believed in you enough to invest maybe this is a word that god is giving a few parents be careful the words you use on your children the way you tear them down someday the sun will go down and the little boy today who is helpless will come to a position where you may be ashamed to lay claims everybody's destiny is divided into the morning stage 
the afternoon stage the evening stage and the night stage he says so then teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom this is a key that has changed my life i'm honored today to be part of the life this is why i'm sent to the body of christ you do not know what joy it gives me do you know aside from being a man of god my greatest personal legacy as a human being is to be one who lived his life loving the lord and sincerely being a shoulder for many people aside being a man of god, The meaning of my name is the way to love and it's a very powerful name i blessed my parents a thousand times for being that discerning to give me such a name i sincerely love people i don't use people i don't try to no return to the place of genuine honor return to the place of genuine honor honor to god there are some of us i know now i want to say something in one minute and then we're done there are many of us here who even though we are a congregation the truth is i want to tell you an uncomfortable truth from a sociological standpoint from a spiritual standpoint even though this is logic and by extension whatever church listening and following and the body of christ i want to bring you to a sincere realization that you are not all the same that is the honest truth from a standpoint of sacrifice from a standpoint of achievement you are not all the same and there must be a system i'm not trying to teach stratification yes we are all equal before god but if that statement is not balanced it will lead to a lot of dishonor i found out that the reason why many blessed and wealthy people do not come to church is that there is a track record of dishonor their sacrifices are trivialized in the name of creating a unified platform to bless people jesus did not hide his honor for noble people zacchaeus come down i've changed i'm going to your house and because of that one sacrifice many people were forgiven the centurion you are a man under authority i respect you i don't need to come to your house i will speak the word no matter how high god lifts me i'm wise enough to know that there are positions i occupy today sociologically speaking that is a privilege it didn't come by age it didn't come by qualification and we must be wise enough to communicate the same is god helping us so there are many of us that god will bring us into places where from a physical standpoint we should not be there don't abuse that access when god gives you access to the ears the hearts the hands of kings and nobles do not trivialize it one time i was going to pray for a, a first class traditional ruler in this nation and when i got there there are these people i don't know what they call them the ones who hold whip and ensure compliance those guys there and i was going to enter the palace and you don't enter the palace with your shoes you know that right but the man said no he said enter and the people were surprised i said no 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 sir please let me take off my shoes he said no i am king i said enter but if i'm going to see him another day and i now buckle my shoes and just jump in no i will not abuse that access can i tell you this every time a man shows you uncommon access make sure you send back a message that makes him know i recognize this is a privilege and i do not take it for granted i guarantee you do that and you have secured his fear that fear of if i give you greater access would you abuse it if you let them know that you are aware that you will never abuse it then you will see more of them these are the keys of the kingdom that we do business with i've received calls today that i will tell you sincerely even at this level god has helped me god has honored me but there are calls i've seen that i had to say whoa okay something happened recently that really shook me one of the prominent global families global families on earth i'm sitting and suddenly i get a call i'm a lawyer to abc family they have demanded that we should fly you to come and help settle something in the family and i said okay this is serious 
I'm not sure I have a visa to that nation. And they laughed. They said, do you know who is talking to you? Visa to where? Ah. I said, well, we've been taught to be obedient citizens. You have to get your visa so they don't embarrass you. <laughs> oh, dear. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, who is the helper of men. The doors that have been closed in your life as a result of dishonor, in the name that is above all names, here at this exalted altar, we declare those doors open now. We declare those doors open now in the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. We are going to pray and I'm going to give you one or two minutes by the grace of God. Please passionately pray. First, you are going to ask for mercy for communicating dishonor dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to principles many of us as i'm speaking to you now god is bringing to mind the reason why certain groups just alienated you why certain individuals you communicated dishonor by speaking wrongly about people and they later heard what you said and on account of that they closed certain doors lift your voice and pray for mercy roger can we pray body of christ lift your voice and let's pray father in the name of jesus we obtain mercy we are praying it's time for doors to be opened again it's time for doors to be opened blessings on ending it's time for us to step into realms of prepared blessings through understanding it says by knowledge shall the just be delivered Go ahead and pray. Shali pras kadabo shina hasa. Shkala bradanda saprakato sekete brende kete balahasia. Mercy, O God, for the doors that I have shut knowingly and unknowingly. I have severed valuable relationships through dishonor. Relationships that would have been ladders for me today. I would have been ten times better, you may say. Cry for mercy. hallelujah second prayer point you are going to pray sincerely that god will grant you the grace to unashamedly communicate honor it takes a lot of revelation and maturity to communicate honor because communicating honor can be ego stinging especially when you communicate honor to people who may not seem like they are deserving of it sometimes you may communicate honor and they may not reciprocate it if someone is sowing nonsense in his own garden you shouldn't be so angry that you change what you are sowing in your own garden you will reap what you sowed not what your neighbor sowed if you honor a person and it dishonors you back don't worry the Bible says you will reap what you sowed, not where you sowed it. Are you ready to pray? You're going to cry to the God of heaven. Grace to practice honor as a principle. Grace to practice honor. Please lift your voice. Please, in the church, in my department. Grace to practice honor in my family. Lift your voice and pray. Shalika pranda gata basoda balahashia. Skede baruziata. Lord, the grace, the grace to practice honor as a lifestyle. Honor in business. Honor in business. Honor in ministry. Honor in career. Honor in relationships. Honor in family. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to do something very prophetic. You are going to pray as a point of contact the apostle over this assembly apostle goodheart and his dear wife you notice i always talk about him and his wife if you honor a man alone you are not sincere are we together now yes it is always christ and the church not christ alone you honor christ you hate the church his jealousy will still fight you because jealousy is the rage of a man if you truly know that apostle goodheart and his dear wife have been shepherds laboring praying i want you to sow a seed of prayer 
right now you're going to pray in one minute and passionately pray as you would pray for yourself lord lift them lord keep them come on rogic is this how much you love your pastors is this how much you love your shepherds lift your voice and pray pray from the depth of your heart uneasy lies the head that wears the crown please pray please pray please pray lord may this honor towards these vessels never be found in my life through my words through my body language i make a covenant with god that i will make ministry easy for them are you praying i make a covenant with god that i will support them i will stand by them i will invest into their lives to see that as they exalt jesus as they feed me that they are not stranded that they are not frustrated that they are not suicidal in the name of jesus i will ensure that they are healthy whatever it is within my power to see to it that christ remain lifted and honored and glorified in rogic i become an active contributor an active participant please pray hallelujah hallelujah now i apologize but i want to give you just one instruction in righteousness or two please listen hold on guys we're wrapping up this is a very serious business i cannot begin to tell you the things i've seen just standing here preaching we're not doing that and my time is up we have to honor the time but there are two things i want to tell you honestly speaking in christ and by humility if you keep these things your life it will not some of you it will not take weeks number one i want you to please write down the names of 10 people the Holy spirit will minister to you who are deserving of honor in your life when you go back it could be you and your wife it could be you and your children it could be you as an individual that you want to show these people honor whether by sending a text by a seed whatever it is that you have to do for them please you do this in the name of the lord and watch what happens remember it's one thing to desire to do a thing but it's another thing to be instructed to do a thing there is always an unction even if some of you even if some of those people are people you know who may not easily like you maybe rivals in business maybe someone you know who has been the reason why your company don't worry just do what i'm asking you to do honor is powerful that's what killed her man a woman used honor as a sword displaced another woman killed her man and secured the entire 127 provinces sometimes the battle does not need swords honor is a vicious weapon it can fight are we together number two now this is something that is from my heart and now it will be unfair if we do not do this i want to encourage everyone inside those following forgive me apostle goodheart i know he might be watching and and um pastor mrs bimbo forgive me but let me say this i want everyone under god go back to god and think of something a seed of honor that you are going to sow into the life of apostle goodheart and his wife if you don't what i'm saying that's all right please it will be hypocrisy to come and sow a seed into my life and bless me when you have not done so to your pastor let me tell you sincerely not many people will be this honest to tell you are we together now yes yes listen to this some of you right now as i'm talking to you god is speaking to you please listen some are following online some are workers and the lord is speaking to you i'm not going to make any calls to say come out necessarily no but there are men and women that god is speaking to you and saying look what this man has done you called him in your down times 
he prayed with you you confided in him he honored you you opened up several things they are the reason why some homes are still remaining today they are the reasons why some people are still moving forward ministers are like doctors when you stand before a doctor you don't say i'm an adult if it's time for injection you turn and receive the injection quietly are we together and sometimes they can perform surgery so there's no secret with doctors that's that's the way it is with ministers open up your wounds and they bandage everything you must make up your mind that seeds of dishonor through words seeds of this don't let anybody come and sow wrong seeds for instance no no be bold be matured and be determined enough that i will never allow myself to be a partaker of evil this is a very powerful principle are we together you are going to agree with god agree with your wife agree with your husband please I want you to do this if you love God you honor me and you honor Jesus I want you to do this that God according to I know that this is a ministry with very blessed people I'm not talking of giving for church project I'm not talking of giving into Rod ministry I'm not talking of giving into no I'm talking of your pastor and his wife if God can grant you grace and they can give you audience it's not just transferring money or sending this is oh no it's not just about that to let them know the least anyone can do here is to send a sincere text message is that true apostle goodheart pastor mrs bimbo thank you i listened to apostle's message and i'm truly convicted i just sat down and thought through your kindness the last 13 years the last 20 years the last five years the last six months thank you I cried the other day and your hands were there to wipe my tears I just want you to know that I'm sincerely grateful never send somebody a text and say many people have blessed me just to let you know you are one of them that's a very demonic text message there is there is nothing special in that kind of text message don't do that you know that's the text people that's why the people don't call you back many people have blessed me just to let you know you are one of them no you have to give people a sense of exclusivity. It's a secret. Father, I stand in partnership with the grace upon the set man and his wife. I thank you for this beautiful congregation made up of veterans in business and career in ministry. Lord, I acknowledge on his behalf I stand here representing Apostle Goodhart and his wife to let you know that truly they honor you. Listen to me. I'm not praying. We're about to pray. Some of you in this church are very wealthy people. It's no secret. Some of you in this church are very influential people. Some of you in this church are captains of industry some of you are people with uncommon achievements for some of you it's a big sacrifice every time you come here let me stand on behalf of god's servant and his wife to tell you that it's not only him that you honor i can tell you this apostle goodhart truly honors you and recognizes your sacrifice your seeds your place it's important for you to know this and that if for any reason anybody has communicated dishonor of any sort i am telling you this now that it was never intended so are we together now many times i talk to my people they know that i love them i let them know lavishly let me challenge all the heads of units and departments here extend this show of honor to the people in your department whoever heads the worship team make sure that you let the people know that on behalf of apostle goodheart we honor you and we thank you don't take for granted that people leave their homes and come for rehearsal don't take for granted that people show up every other time when you let people know you sincerely honor them the gift is that they will give more of themselves to you and so i'm standing as representing the man of god and his wife Rogic, 
in the name of jesus christ i join my faith with apostle goodhart and his wife to tell you that as servants of the living god you are greatly honored you are greatly treasured and you are sincerely appreciated do you believe what i said yes so do not be in doubt and never think for once that your pedigree is being demeaned or downplayed no on your own part please do me this favor even though he's away do your best if you have his contact if you do not find a way of letting the woman of god and the man of god know that you sincerely and you celebrate them and at a workforce level all of the people who head units those in those departments find ways to make your leaders know too you appreciate them because at their level they are paying prices you may never know some of them have to settle quarrel with their wives because they are coming home late make sure you let them know are we in agreement on this the lord bless you the lord honor you in the name that is above all names Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain